live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering ServiceNow, Knowledge17. Brought to you by ServiceNow. We're back, Dave Vellante with Jeff Frick. Tony Beller is here, he's the Vice President of Alliances and Channels at ServiceNow. Tony, welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So, Big week, you know, when Jeff and I first encountered ServiceNow, we said, wow, this ecosystem is going to explode. It has to explode in order for this company to meet its objectives, and it is exploding. Uh, so, that's great, congratulations you know, to, to the company. You're now relatively new to the, to the company, and yes. uh, things are taking off at the right time. So, tell us about sort of your role and your objectives for the, the channel. Yeah, so I joined seven months ago. So, I run uh, all of our alliance and channels, so that includes Basically, all of our SIs, resellers, mm -hmm. outsourcers, ISVs, our, our OEMs, you know, all of our partnerships. Um, we launched this year a three-prong strategy. Uh, the first one is, uh, as we move into a full multi-product company, we want to make sure that we, you know, we leverage the partner ecosystem to go help us build those markets across all of our product lines. Um, and how are we going to do that? Well, we are in incentivizing them to go build practices across multiple product lines where they have, obviously, competencies. And then we're investing very heavily in uh, enablement, uh, training, and certification. So this year, uh, we announced on Monday at the Global Partner Summit uh, keynote that we will be rolling out, for the first time, certifications for each one of our product lines. So ITSM, ITOM, HR, CSM. And once we roll them out, we're going to you know, push the ecosystem to get certified so that we can you know, really measure the, the strength of our ecosystem across all our product lines. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, uh, you heard our industry uh, focus, uh, it's the global market, uh, but our strategy there is really to leverage our partner ecosystem. <laughs> Why? Because they have deep, deep industry expertise. Um, and so what we're, we're going to work with them to bring us that, you know, bring us into accounts, get ex leverage that experience in our own industry. But they're also building solutions on top of our platform. They have been building industry uh, solutions on top of our platform and our product lines. And they have a heavy industry flavor. So we launched also on Monday a program that we call Catalyst. And Catalyst is basically a program that takes those solutions, we look at them, we endorse them, uh, and then we take them to market with our partners. Uh, it's going to be, you know, we're not going to, we don't plan to do hundreds of them, but we're going to be very specific and very, um, targeted on which industries and which partners who have true deep industry expertise to take those to market. And the third one is our store, uh, our OEM ISV ecosystem. Uh, this is the new, it's been around for a couple of years. We have to date about a couple hundred partners in our ecosystem, a few hundred applications in, on the store. It's been profitable, but we think because of the power of our platform, I mean, we think that we have the best platform in the industry, that that ecosystem uh, can be huge uh, compared to other other companies out there. Um, we we have huge expectations of growth in the next three years. Uh, we hired a, um, an executive from who came from another company where he built something similar, uh, an ecosystem, an ISV ecosystem of over a billion dollars, uh, and he's here to kind of help us take that to the next level. So basically, we want companies to help us build or companies that build application businesses on top of our platform. And so that's kind of a three-pronged strategy uh, for this year and for the next you know, three or four years. You gave a stat, I think it was you, it might have been Scarpelli, at the uh, financial analyst meeting, that well over half of your ACV is influenced by, uh, by partners, but it's still in the 50s, and the goal is to get that you know, m much higher. Help us understand the contribution today and where you see it going. Yeah, so last year, at the end of uh, last year, FY16, our partner ecosystem influenced 59% of all the ACV in the company. Uh, we finished Q1, uh, that's probably uh, the, the number you heard on the earnings uh, call or the transcript. Uh, at the end of Q1, it was 62% of all the ACV was influenced by the partner ecosystem. Our goal and my commitment to the company and the board and, uh, and Mike Scarpelli is that by 2020, in the next three years, that number will be 75%. So 75% of all the ACV will be influenced by our partner ecosystem. So in thinking about sort of your previous experience at a company like, like Salesforce, what, what are the similarities, what are the differences, what kind of learnings can, can you bring here? Yes, yeah, a couple, you know, I think a couple things. One is, um, 
when I was uh, when I was being recruited to come here, uh, one of the things they they they, they 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 told me they were interested in me was because when I was at this other company, uh, where you know they went from a single product company to multi product company to leverage the ecosystem to build those markets. Um, and so I've done that before. I know how how to make it work with a very large ecosystem globally. And so that's why that's one of the reasons why I'm here. And the second piece was uh, the ISV ecosystem. Um, this is our company, again, they built a massive ISV ecosystem. Um, and the person that I hired to help me do that, and we both, both, both come from the same company, and we, we think we can make this ecosystem much, much larger. Let me give you a quick um, example of that. Uh, there is a company called Map Anything. Uh, there was a press release that came out today. Uh, Map Anything was a, uh, a Salesforce ISV. Uh, they came over to us and said, hey, we want to build something on, on, on your platform. We want to become an ISV. Uh, they build integration. They were supposed to be here just with a demo, but in literally six weeks, they built a full-on application on top of our platform. They went on the, on, on the store on the ISV. Uh, they said that they, the difference between the other platform and ours is that they wrote 250,000 less lines of code with us than the other, the other platform. So we know that this you know, platform is, is super powerful. Companies like Map Anything and other ones are coming to us very hard, trying to build you know faster, better, and then launching to uh, to the market. So you know, thinking about some of the epic ecosystems in in the market, obviously Microsoft you know comes to mind. Uh, you know, I think about a company like VMware, even though it's an infrastructure company. Todd Nielsen, who was at the time the president, he was very proud of. He would say that for every dollar spent on a VMware license, 15 is spent in the ecosystem. It started at 12, then went up to 13, 15. I think at one point it hit 18. They stopped talking about that. Uh, maybe the pendulum is swinging the other way, but is that a reasonable, first of all, is it even measurable? I wonder where those numbers come from, but is that the right way to think about it, that you're creating value for the ecosystem, obviously the customers beyond that. Is that something that is even tangible? Um, we don't really measure how much, you know, of the revenue we spend in our partner ecosystem, to be quite honest, uh, or not yet. Those well, he's are, saying though, for every dollar the customer spends on a VMware, oh, license, I see what you're saying. They spend the 15 on 15. Yeah, the, it's with the the multiple. Ecosystem. Ecosystem. Yeah, right, we right. Um, we don't. I mean, we quite honestly we don't have the, the exact numbers, um, but in talking to our partner ecosystem, for example, big large GSIs, um, and, and you know, I was we were talking to Deloitte, for example, yesterday, and. Uh, Deloitte thinks it's you know three x. So for every license spent, so for one dollar of ACV, it's three x in services dollars, for example. Um, but we also have resellers. We have outsourcers. You know, uh, I think we have a heavy, very heavy outsourcing business, and the multiples there are much, much larger. I was going to uh, say uh, uh, that is yeah. Very I, mean, I, I can right? tell you, companies like IBM, uh, HCL, Infosys are very, very large outsourcers of ours, and you know one of the contracts which might be a hundred million dollars and outsourcing were just a small piece of it, right. but those contracts are just really, really large. We, so we, we haven't really been able to measure the multiples on that part of the business. Yeah, I mean, the reason I'm asking is that I think the leverage with the service, on top of a ServiceNow platform, a software platform is going to be much higher than, for instance, an infrastructure company. Yes. Uh, and especially when you're talking about transformations, and it's not just IT transformations, it's complete business transformations. Absolutely. You know, that's one of the things that we're, we're pushing on on our on our partner ecosystem, and and I think John uh, Donna, who come in coming here, uh, he and I will be having a lot of conversations with you know our top you know partners in GSI specifically, and one of the things that we are telling them to do is like, listen, we. Uh, I think you heard John on the keynote. We are we hear from our customers that they want less customization, more out of the box. They want more transformation. So we are pushing our partner ecosystem to to do the same thing. We don't want them to come in and just do a lot of customization. We want them to kind of just come in, do what is you know out of the box, but then try to transform process, transform and innovate on top of our platform to deliver more value to our customers. So that's kind of what we're trying to put push on our partner ecosystem. So Tony, I'm curious to kind of play off that. For the Catalyst system, do you see those as being more uh, industry solutions or more horizontal solutions? Uh, I think uh, right now it's going to be hybrid. I think uh, we're, we're in early stages of partners really thinking, you know, industry solutions on top of our, our product lines. Um, so it'll be hybrid. So for example, DXC Technologies, you know, we announced on Monday, they have an ISEC ops for healthcare, right? Uh, that solution started just for ISEC ops. Basically, they replatform uh, their site for security. It's both, right, at the, at the right. intersection. And then they say, well, this ISEC ops uh, solution is very ap applicable to the healthcare. So they kind of 
industrialize it. Okay. Um, so I think it's gonna be hybrid, but very, you know, we see a lot of momentum, a lot of excitement from a lot of the, the big partners on building industry solutions on top of our platform. So I think slowly there will be just more very industry specific. We're, we're, right now I think it will be uh, a mixture of, the, of both. Okay. So you mentioned you know, you're putting resources into training and, and the like. What about some of this mundane stuff like channel conflict and deal reg and how do you deal with all that in your world? That's a fun part of my job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like being a little league coach. Uh, <laughs> how come my kid's not playing? Uh, yeah, you know, I think we, we uh, uh, I mean, listen, channel conflict is going to happen in any company, that's unavoidable, right? But we have a lot of things in place internally, process, rules of engagement, um, uh, compensation uh, strategies where our uh, direct sales team uh, and, and the partner ecosystem to ensure that you know, we reduce the, 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 the channel conflict, especially with ourselves. Um, we also put in place this year an organization inside, my, inside Alliance and Channels that I call the Alliance and Channels go-to-market. And that go-to-market team is aligned to our sales organization. And so for every, every VP, AVP, and sales director in the field, there is a go-to-market person that they, they create the, the partner strategy for that territory, they carve out the territory as to which partners we're going to bring into which accounts, which partners are heavy in which accounts, all the, all the way down to deal and, and, pers and pursue execution. And that has eliminated the, eliminated the, the, the conflict significantly. Uh, deal Reg is something that we actually we're actually revamping right now. Uh, when I came in seven months ago, um, it was antiquated, uh, for lack of a better term. And we are actually, as a matter of fact, next week um, I was reviewing just an email this uh, just this morning. On next week, we're going to do an all hands, and we're launching our new deal registration process. That is more aligned how we track pipeline in the company, mm -hmm. all the way from register a deal, going to a lead, qualify it, and then push it into our into our into our, um, our forecast. So for your direct sales folks, you've made this sort of commission neutral, it sounds like, uh, by making them a partner. This is your, you're going to grow this territory with this, this partner. If I understand it right, the key to that is that there's enough new incremental business that the salespeople can participate Absolutely. in that, still make as much money or, or more money than they did before, mm -hmm. so they've got direct skin in the game. Yeah, yeah, our, our sales reps, they don't, they don't get dinged for working with partners. In fact, they actually, they get compensated same or more. Yeah, but the, but the the implication is that the company has to do enough incremental business to <laughs> absolutely to, to to allow that right? bigger deals, you know, more more incremental business, expand into more accounts. Helps that you're growing thirty plus percent a year with you know a lot of million dollar plus <laughs> deals going down. So right, and just you know our expectation our expectation is our partner ecosystem is needs to grow faster than we than we are growing. So we're also trying to measure how we yeah, for sure. how we do that, but we're you know, my commitment to the company is that we are going to grow the ecosystem faster than than the company's growing, which is as you know, we're growing pretty fast. Yeah, you could see I mean, your goals are aggressive, but I could even see you exceeding that over time. I mean, you see companies like, you know, Oracle, very direct sales focus, which obviously service now has been for years. O Oracle really trying to shift its its model for obvious reasons. I mean, there's just so much leverage that you get right. there. Even more so when it's a, I mean, it's a platform. I mean, you're talking about so many use cases and opportunities that right. you're never going to uncover yourself. Exactly. So this is, you got an important job. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and a big one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tony, good luck and, and thank you very much for coming on theCUBE. Yeah, really thank you so much, it. thanks for having me. All right, you're Absolutely. welcome. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be back with our next guest right after this short break.